What is it? I'm doing what I normally do. I do the same thing the same way every day. Nothing anybody will notice. And even worse, nobody would need me. I got to go. Can I get you your usual today, Deborah? <laughs> yes. One plain bagel and black coffee coming right up. Get me one black coffee and plain bagel. I don't understand why you didn't continue with law school. You were really on your way. I've been telling my friends for years that my Deborah will be the first lawyer in the family. Now what do I have to tell them? My daughter dropped out and is trying to find herself? I can't believe you did this to me. I wish you were more like your sister. Now she's someone a mother can't be proud of. Sorry, I didn't realize my life decisions were all about you. Okay, I guess I better be getting off this phone. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. When do you have to turn that in? Did you say something? Usually when someone's crouched over their laptop and hitting the keyboard like a punching bag, it means you have a deadline coming up. Not working from the office, huh? I work from home and I just need it to be in another set of walls. And yes, I do have a deadline coming up. Who's she? Uh, the button you're wearing. Oh, um, someone I loved very much. Sorry, I shouldn't have cried. No, it's okay. I, uh, my therapist says it's better to talk about it. She was my wife, Stacy. What happened? I'll tell you, but I don't even know your name. Right. My name's Deborah. Dan. Nice to meet you, Deborah. Same here. She was, uh, shot and killed. Case of mistaken identity. The, uh, woman that shot her thought she was her husband's lover. Sorry, I. No, that must hurt like crazy. It happened three months and two days ago. While Stacy was headed to work, a woman shot her five times. Do you have any children? Yeah. Sure. Here are my boys, Simon and Nicholas. I'm sure you and your boys will be just fine. I didn't go to bed for weeks. I, I asked God, how could he let this happen? 
I mean, Stacy didn't deserve this. And my boys sure didn't deserve to have their mother snatched from them like that. They're five and eight years old, for heaven's sake. Time will heal you. I, that's what I've heard, and I know it hurts right now, but... I loved that woman. I swore to God I'd never get married, ever. Then she came. She was so smart, kind-hearted, not to mention stunning. She always kept the house together and took care of the boys. I sure do miss her. I even told God I'd never pray to him again. God knows you didn't mean that, and he's going to help you. Now, I know it doesn't seem like it right now, but he hears you. I don't know. I said some awful things. If I were God, I would have sent a lightning bolt to straighten me out. No lightning bolt. If God were going to strike you with a lightning bolt, he would have done it by now. Thank you, Deborah. Excuse me. Hello? Really? Right now. I'll be there as soon as possible. I'm downtown. I have to go. It was nice talking. I really mean that. Sure you want to go through with this? I've never been more sure. What if it doesn't turn out right? What then? You stop being so negative, Jake. Of course it'll turn out right. Why wouldn't it? Today's the day. It's time for a change. It's been five years, Megan. Five years. When are you just gonna let it go? This is this is just not normal. Normal? What is it normal? is for me to have gone through most of my high school years being harassed and told I was fat and ugly. You're not fat now, so let it go. You don't want to do this? I thought you said you would take care of this for me. That is what you said, Jake. Just keep your voice down, Megan. This is just like you. Punk. Call me whatever. At least I'm not the one stuck here in my high school days. I'm out. I don't know. It depends on what you're talking about. Never mind. It's useless. Were you bullied in high school? I don't think bullied is a strong enough word to describe what happened to me. Kids can be mean and, you know, it makes you wonder what would they do if either their kids were being picked on. You still haven't told me. I don't know. It's never happened to me. Well, aren't you lucky? I've heard how people hurt from being bullied, sometimes for the rest of their lives. Elephant girl. I don't understand. The kids at school used to tell me I was so fat and ugly, I looked like an elephant, especially when I wore jeans. Wow, that is really low and I'm sorry anyone had to go through that. They hurt so bad. I remember this one girl, Cassie. She had everything. Looks, money, tons of friends. She was the worst. She even pretended to be my friend, 
invited me to sit with her and her friends during lunch. Well, what happened? When I got there, everyone stopped talking and looked at each other. Then they each poured milk on my head and told me I was ugly. What did I do to them to deserve being treated like that? All I wanted was for someone to love me or sort of like me. I ran out of the cafeteria and all the way home, cried for hours. As if that wasn't bad enough, one of the girls had taken a picture of me soaked in milk and had posted it to Facebook. The worst part is, I believed Cassie and her friends. I believed I didn't deserve to live because no one cared about me anyway. I'm an only child with parents too busy to sit down and have a conversation with me. Why couldn't I be like Cassie? Why couldn't I have a beautiful life? You shouldn't call a girl like Cassie beautiful when she gets her fun by making you miserable. <laughs> She's the ugly one, no matter how beautiful she thinks she is. Jake, who was just here, was supposed to help me humiliate Cassie the same way she humiliated me. I wanted her to feel every drop of pain I felt. If you really want to get back at those bullies, the best way is to be successful. So, what are you good at? I can write. I wrote some poems out of one poetry contest. I'm even thinking about writing a book. See? How can the world know how talented you are if you're dead? And think about all the people you can help with your writing. I better be going. I got something I need to do. Sure. Well, have a good one. But wait. Here's my card. Can I get you anything else? And you I'm for you. all that I need. If it wasn't for you, where would I be? So here I am at the end of me. psychiatrist today? <laughs> Everybody that has come in here and sat at that table has had a problem. A big problem. It's just how my day has been going. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else. Okay. So Lord, I look up as I'm jumping from the edge of myself. I'm not afraid to fall, cause of you, I always fly. How much do you need? I got enough. Are you sure? I don't know anything in here that costs two dollars. I said I got enough. Listen, lady, why don't you mind your own business? Okay. I'll do just that. Maybe, maybe I could use a little more. Don't worry about the change. You can keep it. Why don't you lie? A Tuesday special with uh, scrambled eggs and 
orange juice. All right, coming right up. You, uh, you probably don't see a lot of people like me. How old are you? I'm old enough. I'm seeking emancipation. Where are your parents? Probably somewhere out there looking for me. It's my mom and my stepdad. Then why don't you stay with them? I'm just tired of the rules. Besides, my stepdad isn't even my real dad. He can't be telling me what to do. He don't know me like that. Why don't you like your stepdad? Like I said, he's trying to act like he's my real daddy. He don't even know me. <laughs> well, I don't know you either. So, what's your name? Jamal. Well, hi, Jamal. I'm Deborah. So, Jamal, does your stepdad take care of you and give you advice? Yeah. Well, I just think with your stepdad, it's doing shit count for something. I guess. And we don't always get the life we want. If I'm, if I'm being honest, and it hurts to say this, but I think my stepdad is better to me than my real dad. Sounds like your stepdad is your real dad. And don't you think you're being unfair to your parents? What's unfair is the man who brought me in this world doesn't care. I mean, I heard he left my mom while she was still pregnant. What kind of man does that? Why couldn't he stay? Talk to your parents. Maybe there's something you don't know. I gotta go. Thank, thanks for talking with me for the meal. You're welcome. Mom? Go back home. Jumping from the edge of myself. I'm not afraid to fall, cause in you I always fly.
go. There's a lady laying out here in the middle of the alley. It looks like she fell off a building. I don't know if she's breathing or not. Deborah? I don't know. It's uh, Mulberry and Third. Deborah? Uh, Mulberry and Deborah, it's me, Dan. I just wanted you to know that after I left from talking to you, my day was going as it normally goes. And anyway, I, I stopped working at my desk and I went into this small conference room and I locked the door. Yes, there's a and lady then in the alley. I had this like sudden urge, believe it or not, to pray. Deborah, he hears you too. He hears you, Deborah. I even asked for forgiveness today because of you. You are good enough. I was so consumed with anger ever since the shooting. But after 15 minutes of pouring my heart out to God, I felt this weight lift off of me. Can I go with her, guys? You were meant to live, not die, and to declare the works of the Lord. Broken, defeated, another sleepless night. Cycles repeated, but no more tears to cry. And I need to know the answers why, why so much pain. It's hard to believe that there's a chance I'll be happy. Then I, I, I remember the cross. I remember your hand gave your life so I could live again. Hey, you. You are so not going to believe what happened to me today. Why are you here? How did you find me? Well. I caught wind from one of the waiters at the restaurant that the certain person tried to offer herself from a five-story apartment building. Don't you know you have to jump from at least ten stories up? Note taken. Come here. Plus, you gave me your business card. You seemed so together a few months ago at the coffee shop. Things aren't always as they seem, but I'm doing better and I'm getting therapy. Did you hurt yourself anywhere? No, not permanently. Just my pride, mostly. Seriously? Well, what I really wanted to tell you is that I saw Cassie. You know, the girl I told you bullied me in school? Yeah. Well, I ran into her at the ice cream shop around the corner. When she saw me, she stopped dead in her tracks. What did you say? At first, I wasn't sure what I was going to say. I just knew I had to tell her how she made me feel all these years and get it off my chest. Mm-hmm. So... I asked if we could talk. <laughs> she turned as pale as a ghost. I reminded her of all the times that she picked on me and exactly how it made me feel. Do you know what she said? She said she picked on me because she was jealous of me. She said I intimidated her. <laughs> me? Intimidate her? She said that? Yes. She said she cared way too much about what others thought of her. She even admitted to being bulimic so she could fit into this perfect image of what a girl should look like. So how do you feel after hearing and saying all that? I feel great. I, mean, I got everything out without committing a violent crime. <laughs> Carrying around all that unforgiveness was choking me to death. Glad you feel better. Oh, oh. I gotta run an errand for your mom. Maybe I'll see you again at the coffee shop? I'm sure you will. Oh, and stay off fruit tops. <laughs> Life and liberty.
unity, victory, and harmony. Many wonder if this could even be. Well, see, I found it, and I wanna tell the whole world about it. Bring everyone around it. Just come with me, spread your wings. Yeah, I'm free. Miss Deborah? Hey, Miss Deborah. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I thought about the stuff you said to me two months ago, and so I went home. My stepdad got me this little gig down here so I could make my own money. <laughs> well, that's good. I, uh, I started asking a whole bunch of questions about my biological dad, too. And why he couldn't stick around. Turns out it wasn't my dad who left the entire time. It was my mom. <laughs> What? Yeah, my mom and dad weren't getting along very well because of the lack of money. They were young when they had me. My mom was tired of being broke and didn't see my dad as someone who could provide. So she left. It wasn't my dad. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm not sure. All I know is I'm loved. My mom had her reasons. Turns out my dad died shortly after I was born. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Good news is I'm not mad anymore. At least my dad didn't leave me. I think that was my problem the whole time. And sometimes we have to know the whole story. Yeah, I, I gotta get back to work. Do you come here a lot? <laughs> I should, but I don't. Oh, I got back in school too. Oh, excellent. Yeah, well, I'm on the clock. I'll see you around, Miss Deborah. Deborah. Okay, see you, Jamal. Sometimes we think our lives have to be a certain way. I always thought if I didn't do everything the exact time that I planned it, whether it was school, career, or marriage, that I was a failure. I even felt that my life didn't matter. Whose life was I making a difference in anyway? Talking to my mom, I found out she wanted for me what she didn't have the courage to do herself. She somehow lived her life through me. My successes were her successes, and my failures, her failures. God showed me that a life doesn't have to do anything big to be beautiful. We never know who we're entertaining when we take the time to really listen and talk to people. That is what makes a beautiful life. Broken, defeated, another sleepless night. Cycles repeated, but no more tears to cry. And I need to know the answers why. Why so much pain inside of me? And it's hard to believe that there's a chance I'll be happy. So I can be safe. Bonds of love.
take 11. Some days I wish I wasn't even born. I'm sorry, what lines do you say? Yeah, I'll be right on all the videos. For years I thought I'd never be free. It's so hard to forgive your own family. Oh, I like that. See, I should never say it. I should never say it. I should never say it. I love that. She was so smart, kind-hearted, not, not to mention ringing. <laughs> <laughs>